Hi, I'm Steve Myers, candidate for mayor of Baton Rouge. Welcome to today's Myers message. Today we're going to discuss briefly term limits and Metro Council salaries. First, let's touch on term limits. It's an issue that's been around for quite some time and still, you know, a topic. In this campaign, it's been a topic as to whether the mayor should be restricted to two term limits. Uh, Metro Councilmen uh, are currently restricted to three limits and there's still some talk about why uh, that would not be also limited to possibly two as well. Now the voters were given the opportunity to vote on this, but they weren't given the opportunity to vote on two terms and I submit that maybe they would go with a two term limit as well. Why do we want to do this? It's, bec it, it's very simple. We, we want a variety of people getting into these positions who have been in the public sector and don't get uh, ensnared, if you will, in the bureaucracy of government. We want fresh eyes and fresh looks at all of the issues. And one way that we can do that is to have a lot of people running for office and a lot of people serving in and out of government. So you have someone who understands the bureaucracy, serves two terms, maybe gets out, maybe gets, gets back in after sitting out a term or two. Institutional knowledge is important, but also fresh blood is important as well. That's why I believe we need to increase the salaries of Metro Council people. We've been blessed in some ways in that a lot of the current Metro Council people are actually very talented people with a heart for public service. But I've sat down at those Metro Council meeting, meetings and it is painful at times to go through some of those meetings and the amount of time that it's spent. But what is of more concern is, is that you can't do the study and the preparation time that's necessary. So you really have an, a, a, a government that's out of balance. The administrative branch is all full time. They present proposals to the council. And then what you have is a council that basically is a part-time job that doesn't have the resources to actually fight back and to challenge some of the things that are presented to them. I believe the council has paid maybe a thousand dollars now with eight hundred dollar a month uh, car allowance. I submit that we ought to be paying our council people essentially three thousand dollars a month and demanding of them that uh, the time be spent not only for constituent services but to challenge some of these things that are brought by the administrative branch. We have too many laws and we have too many dumb laws and a lot of these laws are done for political purposes. I, re I really believe that if we do uh, make the positions attractive enough we will have a lot of wisdom on the council from people who have served in business who once they retire maybe decide to run for council or as well as young people and we'll have a little bit better mix. Uh, I've sat down there at some of these boards uh, and watched where they pull people out of the audience to appoint them to a board. Now I agree that there should be something called public service but we also need to be realistic about who we're going to attract to these positions. So I would as mayor ask that the council salaries be raised to three thousand dollars a month. I would also submit that we would take another shot at reducing the term limits of Metro Council and Mayor to two terms each. Now people have asked about what I've been for and against and we're going to talk about that in an upcoming message. Until then go back and look at the MyersMessage.com and look at some of the previous uh, messages if you've missed them. I think some of them have some interesting topics that you'll want to become f familiar with. Remember, we can make Baton Rouge a nice place for everyone. We can make it happen if we make it Myers.